Hi there and welcome to this video in the IBM Cloud Foundation Skills Series. And in this video, which is going to be a pretty short lab, uh, we're actually going to create a second subnet for our virtual private cloud. So this is a little bit of a recap of what we already have. So we, uh, we've created our, uh, our VPC, our virtual private cloud in the London region. Um, I've chosen the London region because it's closest to me. Um, I've, uh, I've then created a, a subnet in London 1, in, in London Zone 1. So in this particular um, in this particular video, what we're going to end up with is a second subnet, which is going to be in London two. Uh, now they're both going to have public access, so they've both got a public gateway on them. Uh, we've already got a default security group, and uh, we've obviously also got a default um, access control list as well in ACL. So what I'm actually doing here is creating um, two subnets, both of which are going to be effectively a, a web tier. So I'm going to put web servers onto these. And what this then means is that I've got web servers that are in, in London 1, which is a separate zone, and London 2, which is another separate zone. So uh, what I end up with are web servers in two different data centers. Now, obviously, what I can then do is make is, is then load balance those web servers and create myself a highly available website. So anyway, let's crack on and let's get creating that second subnet. So here I am in my IBM Cloud account at cloud.ibm.com. So I want to get back to the VPC screen, so I just click the uh, the hamburger here and click VPC infrastructure. So here I'm back on the landing page for, for VPC. Um, so if I just want to just quickly recap on the on the VPC that I've created, um, you can see in here that I've got my London VPC. I've got one subnet so far, and uh, you can just see the uh, the security groups and the ACL as well. Um, the other thing that we created, of course, in the last video was our SSH key, so I'll just click on SSH keys, um, then you can see that our SSH key is there as well. Right, so uh, what I'm looking to do in this video is actually create another subnet. So if I click on the subnet menu uh, menu item, I can see the subnet that I've already got, so I've got LON1 web tier SN, and that's this subnet that I created when I actually created the, uh, the virtual private cloud. So to create another one, uh, I'm going to click uh, new subnet, so I actually want to create this subnet in uh, London 2 uh, because I want to have a highly available web tier. So I'm going to call this, I'm going to give this a name, so it's going to be LUN2 to denote where I'm actually creating the subnet. Uh, I'm going to call it web tier because that's what I uh, that's that's what it what this uh, subnet is going to support, and then just SN for subnet. Um, so I'm going to uh, obviously keep this because it's my London VPC. That's that's the uh, VPC that this is going to. I'm going to leave the IP range as is. Uh, I'm not going to change that for now. Uh, and I'm also going to uh, leave this as is as well. So it's the VPC default um, subnet access control list. I'm going to leave that as is. Um, and I'm going to also make this a uh, make this public. So I'm going to attach a public gateway to it as well. And that's pretty much all there is to doing this. So I'm going to look at my order summary, so I can see this again. This is this isn't costing me anything uh, because I've not actually got any uh, resources in here that uh, are actually going to cost me any money. So again, if I want to see the uh, the uh, sample API uh, call, then I can uh, cl click that button and see the code in there. And again, that can be uh, again that can be quite useful if you want to start doing this through uh, through APIs. Um, it gives you a flavor for what you need to create there. There's also the documentation, etc. There as well. Anyway, so that's all I need to do there. I'm going to create, click create subnet, and um, it will just take a, a couple of moments. Okay, you can see that the uh, the the gateway was attached. I'll just clear that off, and uh, probably if I uh, just refresh my screen here. And you can see the subnet is now actually available. So that's it, we've created our subnet. Right, so you can see that creating subnets is actually pretty simple to do, it doesn't take long at all. Um, just to recap, this is what our architecture currently looks like. Um, we've now got two subnets, one in London 1, one in London 2, or indeed the zones of your choice. Okay, so that's it for this video. Thanks very much for watching. In the next video, we're going to start looking at security groups and uh, start to look at how we can start to restrict some of the traffic that's entering and exiting your VPC.